Hi guys, it's Regina. Welcome back to my channel. First of all, I want to apologize. I'm speaking as loud as I can. I cannot seem to get good audio on my iPhone. I think we're going to have to switch over to a camera or some other kind of audio, uh, maybe a microphone or whatnot, but I'm not getting good connection and I need to think about changing that up. So for now, I'm just going to go rogue and I'm going to give it to you um, without the uh, my uh, today is Wednesday and it's my weigh-in day. If you've not been here before, I post every Wednesday my weigh-in results. I am trying to lose 100 pounds. You can see I'm in a wheelchair. I need to lose that 100 pounds in order to be able to walk again. And so today is weigh-in Wednesday and I'm going to give you the results of my weigh-in for this week. But first of all, I would like to talk about non-scale victories. Okay, so to begin with, for Halloween, I was really nervous because I always know there's going to be candy around our house. And as it usually is, we bought too much candy. And we shop for food like once a week, so we bought it like five days ahead of time. Well, the candy stayed here. It stayed actually, you can see the cabinet up there. It stayed in that top cabinet. Um, we did have one package of like little Kit Kat bars and I was really tempted and I told myself, you know what, I don't need to be in deprivation all the time. One, one bar is 70 calories, so I said I'll give myself the ability to have one a day. And so I did. I had one a day. I stayed on track for the most part for the week. I had my um, coffee in the morning. I ate a high protein diet for the most part during the week. On Baker's night, which was the night is in our town it's the night before halloween that's when the kids come to her treating we got the, the treat the, the um, candy out and i invited two of my friends to come over because i wanted to make like some weight watchers alternatives so i made some weight watchers um pumpkin fluff and that was really delicious and i figured out how much a portion was and i ate that um i tried to make a low calorie sort of I guess um, low carb I don't know if it's keto but it didn't have a lot of sugar it didn't have sugar it just had coconut flour and um, some stevia on it and it had like a powdered sugar glaze on it that was really good however I messed up big time I was super tired and instead of putting stevia in I had a bag of like white like white substance in my in my pantry and I thought oh for sure this is just well, it actually ended up because I need one tablespoon of stevia. I actually put in one tablespoon of salt. So when I got it out of the oven, after it was like two in the morning, I was super tired and I was so mad. I and I even had made the powdered sugar, you know, stevia uh, cream cheese frosting with half or a third a Newfoundland. I can say the lower calorie like such a great alternative and I didn't know how many portions etc well it was too salty. So I asked my husband if he would kindly um, go out after the gym and buy me some carrot cake so we had something else to serve our guests and he was nice enough to do that and so we had a full-fledged carrot cake um, as well as the pumpkin fluff. So as well as the the pumpkin fluff and the carrot cake. We did have some chicken meatballs that my girlfriend brought. I just had those. We didn't have any bread or anything. When it was time to have the cake, we left that for the very end. I ended up only having a slice and it was, it was not bad. It was only 350 calories. So it was a pretty good day overall. So that was my non-scale victory for the week. On Halloween, I did um, wake up with really bad cold and I didn't eat much. I had my protein shake, I had my breakfast burrito, and then for dinner I had like a chicken taco. I was hungry and I said, you know what, if I'm hungry I'm going to eat something. I ended up ordering a pepperoni pizza, but it was it had the cauliflower crust on it and I ate half of that. I did go over by about 400 calories. Um, that's why I think you'll see my weigh results, which weren't too bad. But that was the kind of, I would say, the only real kind of screw up 
the week. So I'm proud of those, and I see now what I need to do. My mom's birthday is coming up. It's how or Thanksgiving is coming up, and Christmas is coming up. I'm going to just basically buy baked goods. I know it's, I, I hate doing that because my mom, she loves my coconut cake that I make, but I just, I just can't be around that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm either going to buy, I think I'm just going to buy like portion to, or half of a cake. You can do that at my grocery store, you buy half of a cake. And just celebrate that way and try my best to get my, if there is any leftovers, just to buy a full cake, you know, just give it away. I did have, um, I did have the carrot cake in the refrigerator and it was there for five days and I had no desire to eat it. I really think that because I'm eating higher protein, I'm more, I feel more full and I don't really have a desire to go and just reach for something to make myself, you know, when I'm busy, I want to eat something and feel full and not have to worry about being hungry. So if I keep myself on, on the plan that I'm on, I don't think I'll have a problem doing that. So what I want to accomplish for the November and December, these are really hard months for me and I need a lot of support. Then come up with a game plan like I did for Halloween so that I can at least, you know, keep myself in a certain calorie deficit. I still wanna lose weight. I don't wanna maintain, I want to definitely lose weight. So my goals for November are to lose four pounds. I plan on doing this. To begin with, I want to drink more water. I'm drinking about a liter and a half of water right now. So I want to increase that to two, two and a half liters of water a day. I want to continue on my high protein. To, I need to get a minimum of 178 grams a day or 203 is my ideal. If I break that down into each meal, it's 31 grams a meal for the 178 and for the 203 it's 41 grams and how i'm gonna attempt to do that is by basically doing my protein coffee like i do now i'm going to um continue to eat my like omelets or my oatmeal if i eat oatmeal i'm gonna put protein powder in it if i have an omelet i'm gonna increase the protein by putting egg whites into that to make sure I put fiber in all my meals because too much protein can be a problem for our gastro gastronidal. Oh, sorry, I'm like, what's the word? Good to have fiber at each meal to help with digestion. I also plan to go to the gym when I'm feeling okay after I've been to the doctor, make sure I don't have anything wrong with me at the moment. <clears throat> still have this problem with my lungs coughing and I feel like I have bronchitis. <clears throat> when I'm clear to go, I'm going to try to get there three, three or four times a week. Three is probably more, more realistic. I'd like to lift weights for maybe 20 minutes and then either ride the bike or swim. But I just want to do three, three days a week to get out of the house and get used to it. Um, lastly, I just want to try to keep foods out of the house that are not good for me because I keep eating on the cake at my mom's birthday and I'm going to plan on. Sorry, mom, if you're watching this and she knows this, I'm going to be buying her cake. Um, for Thanksgiving, I'm probably not going to be the person that makes the dessert. They want dessert. I'm going to have my family bring it. I know they love pumpkin pie. I might have a little of that, or if they bring cherry pie, I might have a little of that, but I want to make sure that I'm not the one keeping all the sweets in the house. I'm going to give them away. I know my brother will be fine. <laughs> my brother comes, he will take the, uh, he'll take the sweets with him. So those are my goals for November. When December comes, I'm going to go ahead and try to maybe increase my time at the gym. I don't know, when December comes, I'll go ahead and reevaluate my goals. So my weight for this week was 333. Last week it was 332.4, I believe. I'm just checking with me. I didn't go up, so I went up 0.6, but you know, I did eat pepperoni pizza and I did have some chocolate. And there was two days that I tracked, but I was over by 400 calories each time. I'm really proud of myself because in the past,
past, I would have gone up way higher, five pounds maybe, because I didn't care. I just would think, oh, well, Halloween, you know, start on Thursday, then, you know, I would wait till the following Monday to get back on track. Well, I don't do that anymore. I get back on track immediately, and I try to just have one meal, one localized, you know, piece of candy or, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be an all-day eating event, and so I'm getting better at that. I'm really learning to love my vegetables. I think that's super important uh, for people that are trying to lose weight. The protein is good, but I also believe, you know, healthy fiber, healthy fat, and, you know, protein is, is a good combination because you're really full with all three of those. And you stay away from the temptations when you're, for me anyway, when I'm full, I have no desire to eat badly. So yeah, those are my goals. Thanks for listening, you guys, and um, I hope you had a wonderful Halloween to celebrate. I hope you, if you celebrate Thanksgiving, I know our friends in Canada have already celebrated their, their uh, Canadian Thanksgiving, but here in the States, we have that to look forward to. Um, maybe we can make it more of a day of family gatherings, about being thankful for what we have instead of looking forward to all the excess, all the excess food, etc. I want to thank you for coming today, for watching my video. I look forward to maybe next week doing a vlog. I apologize that I'm not doing those. I just have really not been feeling well. It's been really like congestion, headaches, um, coughing a lot, and I really need to figure out what's going on with me. So have a great week, everybody, and take care. Bye.